to Mpumalanga now. That's where we find President Sol Ramaphosa, who is uh, part of a delegation that's going to be leading the Imbizo that's going to be taking place at the Nkala, uh, local, uh, Nkangala local municipality. I beg your pardon. The president is speaking. Let's listen in. Suffering in Gaza, the suffering is beyond human contemplation or understanding. And the world has to do something. And hence we've called for an immediate ceasefire and a humanitarian one for that matter so that food and other supplies, health supplies can come in. So South Africa is determined to continue supporting the people of Palestine. Mr. President, from my side, uh, Mr. President, uh, I think the people of uh, Mpumalanga should be happy that they've got the state-of-the-art hospital. But what are you saying to those who are saying uh, this is a presidential imbizo, I mean this is an ANC election campaign disguised as a presidential imbizo. Not suggesting that maybe the work of government must uh, stop, but what are you saying to those who are saying this is an electionary plot? No, we've been having imbizos for the past five years and uh, there was no idea that these were electioneering initiatives. And the work of government cannot stop because we've got an election coming. When I go to an election, I don my ANC uh, paraphernalia, my t-shirt and uh, uh, my, 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 my sneakers and all that. So that's what I wear. But here I've come as the President of the Republic, which I've been doing in the past five years, going with the ministers, going to interface with our people. And these imbizos are so beneficial because we listen and hear what people have to say without any electioneering and people from various parties come, they put their views forward. And you know what we do? We follow up. Today we are going to be reporting on what uh, was raised at other imbizos here in Chief Albert Lutuli. They raised a number of issues, we are going to report on them. So this is not electioneering, this is government at work. Mr. President, Mwili Masala from Newsroom Africa. I'm not sure whether the Premier has briefed you about recent, recent incidents we've had of officials stealing uh, equipment at hospitals and also medication. It has happened here in Middleburg, it has happened in Mpulen Hospital. So the issue of corruption, as we are opening, soon such a facility how do you then close the gap to ensure that ordinary citizens are not deprived deprived healthcare because of such a challenge when issues or incidents of corruption and criminality happen we immediately take action there must be accountability those who are doing uh, things that lead to theft and so on must be followed up they must be arrested there must be consequence management and consequence management means that those others uh, who are working should not be tempted. They should see that people who indulge in corruption and steal will be followed up, they will be punished. Uh, that's the way we are doing things. So she briefed me about all that and there is follow up. Uh, so we cannot allow situations like that to continue happening without any follow up accountability and consequence management. Thank you very much. Yes, just, your, just your word on, yes. on people saying if a certain party uh, of your erstwhile or your predecessor is not on the ballot paper, there will be outright civil war in the country. Well, we've been hearing that and I just want to make it very clear to anyone who is threatening any form of unrest, they will be followed up and they will be arrested. Those are people who belong in jail. Those are people who are the enemies of our democracy. The people of South Africa value this hard-won democracy and they don't want any form of instability. And we've always followed the rule of law. When you are dissatisfied with any decision, be it a government decision, the president's decision, a minister's decision, even a court decision, there are ways in which all those complaints can be followed up. So for anyone to say that if this does not happen, they are going to, to have instability, it's against the will of the people of South Africa. And I can promise you, those people who will be followed up, we will arrest them. And they do not belong as part of the South African community that wants stability.
that is going to happen. Are you number one on the uh, list? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the president of uh, South Africa. Is, are you number one? You number one? <laughs> well, that is the minister of uh, Home Affairs saying he's number one on the list. But in the uh, ANC, uh, the president is number uh, one. Uh, come on, come on, come on. You know this is a joke. Uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry. That is the minister of Home Affairs there who is also hoping to come back to the National Assembly. But on more serious issues, the president said saying that those threatening violence in these elections will be arrested, they will be taken to jail, and also coming to open this district hospital here in Middleburg, which he says is going to be a pilot and is showing South Africans that uh, the nation is now indeed ready for the national health insurance and also addressing the water issues of this area of Nkangala.